uh, and I think we are getting a verdict guilty uh, on, on all three counts uh, now coming into us here. Hunter Biden uh, has been found uh, guilty of all three of the counts uh, against him. Another remarkable moment uh, for America, uh, another unprecedented moment uh, for America. The son of a sitting president found guilty of three counts uh, of three felony charges against him for illegally owning a handgun when he was under the influence of drugs. Um, I'm just looking to see whether we may get some reaction from, from people coming out of court. We, we expect that Hunter Biden uh, himself will leave court uh, relatively soon. He is unlikely to be remanded in, in custody. Uh, he will um, be sentenced at a later date. And as I say, we don't know what that sentence is. But, you know, just absorbing this moment, it was only a few weeks ago uh, that we saw another unprecedented moment with um, Donald Trump uh, found uh, guilty. Uh, now, uh, an altogether different case, but a case uh, which, again, makes uh, American uh, history. Uh, the president's son, uh, a convicted felon, guilty on three counts of owning a handgun uh, when he was under the influence of drugs. Yeah, Mark, uh, extraordinary day in uh, US political history, in uh, US history. Hunter Biden guilty on all three counts. Uh, a reminder to our viewers that that is related to the sale of a, and purchase of a firearm and uh, making false statements, uh, two counts on that, and one count, of course, on uh, possessing a firearm under the influence. Uh, and, and Mark, you know, we've had a trial with Donald Trump uh, facing charges. We, we've got a trial with the president's son, Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, now found guilty on all three counts in his uh, firearm uh, conviction. So uh, it, this has huge ramifications, doesn't it, for both sides, Republicans and Democrats, in what is an election year in the United States, if we just zoom out for a bit and talk about the political ramifications. Yeah, let me talk in a moment about the specifics of the case against Hunter Biden. But you're right. I mean, the ramifications of this uh, uh, will be huge. They are unknown at the moment. But you can imagine that on the right of politics, the Republican Party, who, who as I said, have always had Hunter Biden in their sights for, for, for what they allege is much more than just the, 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 um, uh, the ownership of, uh, of a weapon uh, while taking uh, drugs. This will supercharge the rhetoric uh, uh, from the right of politics uh, against Hunter Biden. Uh, it perhaps will, will impact um, the views of voters, as, uh, as, as many will be undecided about which way they go. Uh, you know, it was always the case, so many said, that if, if Donald Trump was found guilty, that would impact voters. Well, I wonder what impact uh, the conviction of the sitting president's son, the other candidate, uh, what that will have on a proportion of voters. I imagine it will have an impact. Um, I wonder, too, what impact this will have on, on President Biden uh, himself. We don't yet know whether or not, whether or not a custodial sentence will follow uh, from this, but, but I imagine it will be a body blow uh, for President Biden. A 